This is the story of Spoon by Amy Krauss Rosenthal, illustrated by Scott Magoon, and creatively read by Miss Jill. This is Spoon. Uh, hi there. It's me. And this is Spoon's family. Hi, hello. Hi there. Hi. I'm not really a spoon or a fork. Not sure I fit in. On Sunday, Spoon goes to visit his Aunt Silver. He has to be on his very best behavior there. She's very fancy and proper. Goodbye, darling. <laughs> Ta -ta. Uh, bye, Aunt Silver. See you later. At bedtime, Spoon likes to hear the stories about his adventurous great-grandmother who fell in love with a dish and ran off to a distant land. And the dish ran away with the spoon. Wow, Grandma was pretty cool. Lately, though, Spoon's been feeling blue. What's wrong? asked his mother. You look a bit bent out of shape. Ah, nothing, mumbled Spoon. It's just that, uh, I don't know, all my friends have it so much better than me. Like Knife, look, look, look. Knife is so lucky, he gets to cut. And, and he gets to spread. I never get to cut or spread. Yes, Knife is pretty spiffy that way, isn't he? And, and then there's Fork. Fork is so lucky. <laughs> She gets to go practically everywhere. Everybody uses her. I bet she never goes stir-crazy like I do. Fork does get out and make herself useful, doesn't she? And chopsticks. They're so lucky. Everyone thinks they're really cool and exotic. No one thinks I'm cool or exotic. Those chopsticks are something else, aren't they? Meanwhile, if only Spoon knew what his friends were saying at that very minute. Spoon's so lucky, said Knife. He's so fun and easygoing. Everyone's so serious with me. No one's ever allowed to be silly with me. Like that. Like, look at Spoon. They're all having fun. Spoon is so lucky, said Fork. He gets to measure stuff. Look at him. No one ever does that with me. Daddy, I want to measure stuff. Spoon is so lucky, said Chopsticks. He can go places by himself. We could never function apart. Hmm. That night, after bedtime stories, Spoon's mom turned off the light, tucked him in, and said, you know, Spoon, I wonder if you realize just how lucky you are. Your friends will never know the joy of diving headfirst into a bowl of ice cream. They'll never know what it feels like to clink against the side of a cereal bowl. They'll never be able to twirl around in a mug or relax in a nice hot cup of tea. Hi, my name's Spoon. Hi. Spoon hadn't thought of it that way before. He lay awake in his bed for a long time. His mind was racing. He felt so alive. There was only one thing to do. M Mom, Dad, I can't sleep. Come, Snuggle. Yes, dear. Come, Spoon. And so he did. Sweet dreams. <laughs>